Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a generic food truck with a seating area outside. This is part five of my fair tutorial slash carnival tutorial slash theme park tutorial. What would a fair or any of those places be without some delicious food? Exactly. This is the position inside of our giant fair grid that we are going to be building our food truck. This is part five, so hopefully if you guys have been following along, you have already made the white grid and you can see where we now start inside of it. Follow the instructions and we should both be starting in the same place. Here are all of the materials that we will use throughout this build. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these. Start off by placing a black shulker box on top of the predetermined start position. Right of this, we want to place four stone slabs. One, two, three, four. Smooth stone, specifically. Right of this, place a black shulker box, and then place two more stone slabs behind it. One, two. Extend across the build by three. One, two, three. We now want to begin extending towards the front of the build once more by placing a smooth stone slab, black shulker box, four more smooth stone slabs, black shulker box, and quite simply place a row of smooth stone slabs in front of the front pair of black shulker boxes. We can then fill the base of this in using smooth stone slabs like this, which is made ever so slightly tricky by the fact that we can't just click on the boxes. So the next thing we want to do is place on the front of the truck, the front of the truck is the side that is ever so slightly shorter in front of the wheels. So that would be this side. Place a row of blue concrete on the front of this. And also whilst we're here, place ladders on the two front center blocks, item frames on the left and right side, with then white concrete blocks inside of the item frames. We are then able to extend the left and right side backwards each by two, one, two, one, two, and then each up by two as well, one, two, one, two. We're gonna join them together at the top, and then we are going to extend the front block here. So this is the side that is going to be open and is essentially just kind of a service window. Behind this block, we want to place one, two, three, four white concretes, which we also want to extend one row upwards, and then extend the first row backwards by a further one, two, using blue concrete, join down, add a row of blue concrete inside of this, join it together at the bottom front to back, and then this is going to be the aforementioned service window. On the back of the build, we want to leave enough space for a door, so we just want to build blue concrete around it, leaving a door shape. On the back of the build as well, on the opposite side of the food truck, we want to connect the bottom and the top together, front to back, and you can even connect the very top together as well, fill in the roof. And we want to have a little window on the back of the build, which we're just going to place one blue concrete here, gap of two, and then fill this in. And we can turn this into a small window, and on the front of the build, we can place glass block all the way around the top of the exposed blue concrete. Then place smooth quartz blocks, filling in the area on top of the glass, extending backwards towards the back of the truck. And we also want to place stone buttons on the sides of the black shulker boxes. So just like this. And now that we have done that, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to add further detail. So let's get rid of some of this stuff. And let's first of all work on the outside of the truck before we move inwards. We will need a door. So the iron door, lever, item frame, block of redstone, birch sides. We also want to grab ourselves the 
iron trap doors, yellow candle, red candle, and flower pots, and we do need much more, but on the back of the truck, of course, we need that door, don't we? So we're going to place an iron door with a lever that will allow us to open and close it. I'm going to leave it open. The top two corners of the build, we're going to place item frames with block of redstone inside of these. Moving towards the open side of the truck, I want to place a row of iron trap doors in front of the top of the blue concrete for the service window. And on top of the trap doors, we're just going to place an array of pots and candles. Ketchup, mustard, just a random cup of some sort is what they are supposed to look like. So now that we have done that, we can also, by the way, add levers to the sides of the vehicle. So kind of as like wing mirrors or side mirrors, however you want to say it. It's just a little bit of extra decoration um, as we boil it down. But we also want to grab birch signs. We will want to grab the loom, white banners. We need more than one. Black dye and white dye. Let me quickly grab some banners. That was a little bit of a mistake there. And let's let's make the banners first of all, shall we? So let's throw the loom down. Let's open it up. We'll put our first banner in there with some black dye. The first letter is F. So vertical row of black on the left, horizontal on the top, straight through the middle. That is F. We have to make O, which is very easy. Vertical row of black on the left, on the right, horizontal on the top, horizontal on the bottom. That is O. Last letter is D, this is a little bit more complicated, so first of all we want a vertical row of black on the right side of the banner, throw the black dye out, put the white dye in. We then want the center diamond shape, grab that banner, throw the white dye out, put the black dye back in. We then want the horizontal row of black on the bottom, horizontal row of black on the top, and a vertical row of black on the left, which will give us the word FOD. However, we can place F-O-O-D, we can reuse that O, if you're in survival you will probably need to make another banner, but that will give us food. So now that we have done that, we won't need these anymore, we can place some birch signs around the base of the truck. So, the signs are simply placed literally all the way around the edge of the food truck at the bottom, so just in front of the blue concrete. What is this, you may be asking? What, what's up? Uh, it's just decoration. It just makes it look a little bit more intriguing, I think. So, now that we have finished, maybe finished, with the birch signs, I'm also going to grab the oak signs, oak fence, string, white carpet, and also light blue carpet. So, the oak signs are basically going to be used as number plates, or licensed plates, depending upon what you want to call them. And we are going to place them on the front and back of the truck, just in front of the two center smooth stone blocks. And all I'm going to write is food in one, and then one in the second one. And that's such a confusing sentence, food in one and then one in the second one. Anyway, that is what we want to have. And once we've done that, we want to give the food truck a little bit of a canopy, which is not a Pokemon. And basically, we just want to take the left and right sides here of the uh, iron trap door area, and we want to leave a gap of one and place one, two, three oak fence, one, two, three oak fence extending up from the ground like this. And then if we place a string in between, and then also place it behind, extending backwards. I don't know how much of this we'll have to place because some of these blocks will actually work as, um, I do believe, say like the pot, we can place blocks on top of. So we won't necessarily need string for all of these, but the idea is very simple to place an alternating row of, what about the candle? Yep, yeah. uh, an alternating row of light blue and white carpet on top of this. and it helps us make a little bit of a canopy, which is once again not a Pokemon. So what we now want to do is think about the inside of the build, but we are going to need some different materials to do it, I do believe. So why don't we actually grab a good amount of what we'll need, first of all. So we'll need the light grey concrete. We'll need the block of iron. We'll need stone buttons. We'll also need furnace, brewing stand. We will need the uh, item frames. We'll need steak or something to put in the item frame. Detector rail. We'll also need cake. 
And let's see if we can just throw some of this away for a second to declutter. We'll also need blue concrete, quartz stairs, the lever once again. And that will actually pretty much make the entire inside of the tutorial. But we are making a little bit more than the inside, aren't we? So we'll also need azaleas. We'll need birch fence, possibly birch fence gate, lantern. We'll need cauldron, oak trap door, uh, spruce slab, spruce fence, spruce trap door, oak leaves. And that might actually pretty much do it. The only thing that I have been thinking about and has been haunting me is that I kind of want to have a painting just here as kind of like a little bit of an order board. So at, at the very least, one little painting. So unfortunately, I didn't have it in the item list, and that is because my brain is made of jelly. But we can have just a lot of it, it's just kind of like kind of nice like it just it adds a little bit of something to the food truck i think so do feel free to add a painting right there specifically a one by one anyway moving into the food truck we want to do this in the back corner we're going to place a gray concrete this is right next to the door two blocks of iron stacked on top of each other next to this with stone buttons in front of the blocks of iron on top of the first light gray concrete we want to place a cake as a bit of decoration feel free to eat some i know that i have left of this we want to place a furnace with then two light gray concretes extending across what we then want to do is replace the light gray and we won't need the block of iron um nor will we need the buttons we replace the first room materials with blue concrete quartz stairs lever and right next to this light gray we're going to place ourselves the blue concrete in front of this preferably facing forwards a quartz stair and then next to this a lever and this kind of looks like a driver's seat and a gear stick of some description so we have a bit of a separation from the kitchen and everywhere else on the counter brewing stand item frame steak rail on top of the furnace it just looks like a nice little well-stocked kitchen do feel free to change these things around as you do see fit and of course if you like you can also place stuff on here as well so like if you wanted to have like an item frame because it, it just looks like a plate or a container if you wanted to have a lantern to light the place up you absolutely can you know it, it feel free to mix and match and chop and change things as you do see fit but that is pretty much ladies and gentlemen that is the entire food truck itself made and now that has been done, we are just simply going to refine the area around it because I do think it really does add to the truck. Um, I was going to do this in a completely separate part of the fair tutorial, but uh, we're going to grab the azaleas, birch fence, lantern, possibly the birch fence gates. I don't know if we're going to be using these. Um, spruce slabs, spruce fence, spruce trap door, cauldron, trap door, and we may also need the leaves. So first of all, from the front corner of the truck, extending towards the front of the fair gap of one azalea gap of one azalea we then want to leave a gap of one two three four and then on this fifth block a birch fence which we then want to extend up by three one two three so this is where the contention comes i don't know if i want to use birch fence gates or simply just a birch fence so if we're going to place birch fence gates we need to place eight extending across one two three four five six seven eight with then a birch fence on the end which we will then extend down to the ground the only purpose for this is to hang lanterns off of it which we'll be doing like this we will place a lantern on the very end which we can't do actually but but what we can do is this we can replace that uh, fence gate with a fence and then we would leave a gap of one and then place another lantern this uh, okay this this is better so fence fence gate fence fence gate fence gate fence fence gate fence you guys get the idea which facilitates this we just want to have kind of like this nice array of lanterns and from this we can also place i don't know if this is going to be a bit busy but if we place azaleas on the opposite side of the food truck as well and i want to have a cauldron somewhere with a trap door just to act as kind of like a bin and i also want to have picnic benches so these are placed on either side of this kind of like hanging decoration using the fence and the lantern so we extend inwards diagonally from both sides one and then inwards so like inwards diagonally or outwards diagonally from the however you want to see it inwards and then in one so we then want to place a spruce slab one next to it 
fence, spruce slabs, and then spruce trap doors on top. And we want to do the exact same method over here, but I think it ends up just leaving a gap of one. But from here, we move inwards diagonally. Uh, this might be the problem with the bin. And then we've got spruce slab, spruce slab, then fence, spruce slab, and then trap doors on top. So uh, the problem with the bin in that position is it's a little too close to the benches, but it's okay, we can move it. That's perfectly fine, I think. And from there, we also want to, of course, have it on this side as well. So move inwards diagonally to the right, slab, slab, fence fence slab slab we leave a gap of two it would seem so slab slab fence fence slab slab and then we place the table toppers and there you go i mean this is it just kind of looks like it does it doesn't this look like just a nice little area or at least it does to me. I think that this looks really, really cool and it helps to complement the fair. Of course, we will be refining the area around this once we do move on to making paths and just kind of like the ambient stuff around the fair. But that's it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell next to the subscription button. That will ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. And if you have absolutely any interest in making the rest of the fair, we are already on part five, believe it or not. We are really starting to crack on with this. Check out the description below, first and foremost, for the fair tutorial playlist, but I'm sure it will also be in other places. Thank you so much for watching, I love you all very much and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye!